Eve and all, welcome back to Space Engineers. Right, today we have, um, I, I had a brain wave, and it's really to do with when you're going to be mining these great big asteroidy asteroids, what you're going to need to be able to do is to kind of manage them um, somewhat better. So it's almost like you need to find a way to make them a bit more, I guess, easier to <laughs> cut up, is the way I probably think this. Um, so I thought to myself, aha, I know how to do this. And I decided that it's actually best done on a small frame. Um, however, you can can make these small um, fightery frame things actually be quite big so um, just well worth considering that I don't know if you've seen last video we looked at um, nano uh, clerk he managed to do something quite awesome with the uh, with the small frames you because you've actually got weapons for them as well anyway I digress so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our symmetry planes and we're gonna build something that's basically a great big cutting knife Think of it almost like a slicing the the loaf of bread that is the asteroid in front of us and um it's all going to be done in a very nice kind of <laughs> i guess stand up way and you'll see what we're doing in just a moment now um just a quick comment on space engineers i guess um it's certainly coming on quite well um i wouldn't say it's been developed super fast um which, I don't know, is that a problem? Probably not. Maybe it means it's more stable, I don't know. But um, certainly with the in introduction of multiplayer, the stability of the game has gone up a lot as well. So that's really good because when multiplayer came in, it was a little bit twitchy. And what I'd say now is that actually it's quite good. Um, it's loading maps quicker. It seems to be able to get people into the maps quite quickly as well. Um, yeah, so in general, I would say that, you know, the, the recent patches they've put out there have solved a lot of the um, issues, let's say, that were certainly there on day one of multiplayer. So, you know, if you did give it a go and you were a bit worried, uh, you know, give it another go and you'll see that it's a lot better now. Anyway, as we now look at our wonderful, wonderful carving knife, um, it's not perfect, I know, but it... <laughs> <laughs> It'll do. Um, what we're going to do is we're now going to basically use rocket launchers to start cutting asteroids in half. That is the plan. Now, I think I've got that the right way around, although I don't think I do actually. <laughs> Look at it. I always get confused with these things. But you, you see what I'm doing? You see how this is going to work, bro? See how this is going to work? Yeah. Just like that. Oh, hang on. No, that didn't work. Anyway, I digress. It's it's a funny, funny game that just gives you as many ideas as you can imagine. It gives you every ample opportunity to test them. And I think I was literally cutting into a loaf of bread yesterday. And I thought to myself, hmm, what shall I do for space engineers next? Hmm, as I pondered. And I thought, what would I like to see? And I think certainly when it comes to the industry side of this, I'm, I'm all about the big scale stuff. So like Dead Space, they did the Planet Crackers fantastic sci-fi loved the whole concept of planet cracking literally towing like anchoring a starship to the crust of a planet and then its its engines are so powerful it can rip half of the crust of a planet out loved it amazing sci-fi so i thought to myself well i want to do something on quite a big scale so i thought well let's try this um, and in essence, it's, yeah, this is this is interesting, I'm sure you're going to agree. This is, in theory, able to cut asteroids into bits. So let's just get a nice advantageous view. And three, two, one, let's let this rip. Mm -hmm. So, conclusion from test fire number one. I put the bloody rockets on the wrong round. <laughs> I always do this. I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Uh, wrong because I could have sworn that it's basically the end with the black hole in it which that looks like but anyway I've obviously got it wrong um, so whatever was behind me has now been destroyed categorically which I, I thankfully wasn't anything important because uh, I did start a new map just to be sure I'm really glad I did now in fact um, so let's get these the right way around and there we go Whoop. as we let put about 100 so it's about 200 rocket launches uh, all in a line all pronged and ready to go and let's see how this goes. Now, this is ultimate creative mode. I bet in the real game you'll never be able to do this. Ah, there we go. Much better. So we've got a laser targeting there. So let's see how this one goes. As I fire, it's going to lag out, but let's see how it goes. Boo! <laughs> oh, this is looking good. Now, the issue we have as it cuts through the rock is that um, each rocket has the risk of hitting debris as it goes into the, to the hole. 
So you've got to bear that in mind. Um, I think already your mind might be might be working overtime because you'll be thinking, aha, you could do many different shapes with this. That's right, you could. You could burn a great big cross into the asteroid if you so wish. You could literally make a, a circle of, of um of rocket launches and punch through and create literally a cylinder of rock. Nice idea, isn't it? Let's just keep firing. Look at that. Look at that. No, it does slow down the game massively, but just look at the, the potential of what you have to play with in this game. It really is quite exceptional. Now, I don't think it's firing every single missile, but because obviously there's a few, there's probably a few challenges with the uh, speed of this. But look, as I fire this thing, woo, into the side. <laughs> like the ultimate weapon isn't it it's literally like something again dead space it's like the line energy line weapon or whatever that was called uh it looks pretty sweet and again all we're looking to do is to keep drilling through this rock um i'm gonna go and slowly move forward but i'm always quite hesitant to do that because obviously bits of stray rock can blow the crap out of me but as it stands i would say this is pretty good so let's go and inspect how we've done so far i couldn't even tell how far this was digging but look at that it's pretty impressive, isn't it? Let's put the light on. There we go. So as we go into our wonderfully carved out asteroid, isn't that fantastic? Doesn't that look cool? Now, I've got to admit, I love the mechanics behind this game. I just think it's, it's awe-inspiring. It really is. And look at what my, my wonderful technology that took literally two seconds to make. But look at how much fun you can have with this game just from the get-go. It really is a, a, hu a true sandbox, space sandbox. So let's keep shooting. What we're going to do is we're going to keep going through to the other side. Now, again, I think there, there must be some limits somewhere. So I don't think every rocket is registering damage, etc. But it seems to be doing an OK job to begin with. Um, always a bit worried about these stray bits of rock as well as they ping past me because they can catch a rocket and then you're in trouble. And anyway, let's just edge forward, keep firing. <laughs> it's not me slowing that down, it's the game literally slowing down to about eight frames a second. <laughs> um, but it, it just looks so good, doesn't it? This is, this is the kind of scale and scope of what this game could potentially bring us. So um, I'm really quite excited about how this is going to look. Uh, anyway, so let's keep punching through. Now, I think we're almost through to the other side here. But anyway, in terms of how you could maybe use this, eventually you are going to be able to literally hack off parts of an asteroid, maybe draw, draw them or drag them closer to uh, a starship to then process and so on. So I think it's almost as if you're preparing the rock for like mass, uh, I guess, uh, production or whatever you call it, or mass uh, processing. Um, and I think certainly this ability to maybe cross and cut asteroids into bits would be quite cool. So look at that, we punched through the thing. Um, it, I don't know if every rocket is registering, so I'm cautiously moving forward and now pretty much poking inside the thing. Look at that, frame lag. <laughs> uh, but you know, you have to excuse it because I'm doing like 200 rockets all in one go. It's a huge amount of, of processing that's going on there. Plus it's working out the damage of 200 hitting rockets etc so you know it, it's it's acceptable i would say but i say that's pretty good i think we could keep shooting and eventually it would break through but i think as you can see we've pretty much done the majority of it um and i would say that's quite a nice little tactic to be honest you probably didn't even need 200 you could probably do one every five blocks um up and down and you would get the same result without the lag so this was done really merely just to kind of show off um, what you can do but look at that completely sliced and diced not bad hey uh, you can even get into the act the ores here as well so this could be something that you do just to kind of i don't know get into the internals of an asteroid to start mining to maybe get a little mini miner that you could get in there also that could start mining or even just the drills yourself and you could put an energy generator at the bottom with the gravity field to pull all of the rocks down as well so here we go fast forward and much like a laser cutting saw we're going to chop this little bit of the, the asteroid here so i'm just going to make it a bit easier there we go so here we go commence firing boom i've sped this up just to sort of show you the process but there you go see what i mean those the, all of those rockets exploded because they hit um uh, i don't know they hit a bit of rock or something but as we go look that's chopping through cutting through so that's our knife cutting through this rock and i would say that's a pretty bloody good idea now it would be nice if that rock then spun away and could be hooked up to little little thrusters that you could then maybe ferry that to a, ma a major mining ship to be you know chewed up and spat out into a refinery 
but hey all in good time so look at that completely cut through completely cut the edge off this asteroid and that was amazing fun i must admit it was just simple quick amazing fun so there we go hope you enjoyed that see you next time Thank you.